Outer Bank season three, episode four. So here we are. This is how we're starting the day. I'm gonna. Uh, I don't know how many episodes we're gonna get in today. This might be the last one, considering that we have a whole bunch of things like school to get done, and you know it's been it's been crazy. But if you want to see more of these reactions in, in the upcoming days, make sure you let me know and. We'll, we'll do it. It's, it's pretty simple. But here we are, Outer Banks, man. And um, really excited to see where this goes. John B's dad has been uh, an interesting character so far, considering that this man is just vanishing when he wants. He clearly got some stuff going on behind the scenes, so it should be fun to kind of unravel it all. But also, if you want the full reactions, head over to Patreon. Season 2 is already up there, so it definitely help me out. TikTok for exclusive reactions, Twitter support, Instagram, all that stuff. Support your boy. And uh, I guess now that we got that YouTube stuff out of the way, yeah, let's get busy. So this dude's just like, oh, he's looking for the Twinkie. He's looking for the diary. Oh, no, no. There's no. gotta be something here. He's stressed. Where he was here. How, what is, how is this he gonna play out? Sir, I, no, I swear, he was here, all right? Okay. No, I'm, I'm not crazy. Look, that's the boat right there, okay? And he, and he was sleeping inside Look. right there. Look, oh, I, you she thinks me. he's stressed. I, oh, she, I mean, oh, there he is. Hello, Sarah. She thinks he's crazy. <laughs> oh my God. Come on, Sarah. Where did you go? Or should I say, Mrs. Rowledge? Welcome to the family. Oh, Where my did you go? God, dude. Uh, she's so relieved her husband's not crazy. <laughs> Thank you for not being a nut. People, your parents are not gonna appreciate me shacking up. Door. Yeah. Look, they're you giving her a place a to bit. stay. I love that. Uh... Yeah, live here. This is like the White House, man. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you think it's gonna. Ah, uh, Pope. Pan on Pope's. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Damn. Even JJ knows that was extremely awkward. Nobody's <laughs> calling. I have to call you back. Oh. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Oh, man. Oh, my God. We're getting reunion after reunion. Okay? <laughs> oh. Damn, bro. This is the honeymoon phase, bro. Once they start talking, they're going to be screaming. Apologize tomorrow. I mean, they were stuck on an island. They have a valid, valid reason. Ah, oh, no one's there to greet him. Don't tell me he's there, bro. No, JJ. Ah. Ah. There he goes, bouncing again. Come on, dude. Figure out why you didn't tell us when Sarah was here. Oh, Dad, come on. Seriously? He doesn't trust it's us. You so. and me. You and me. Okay. All right, that's Wait, fair. Okay. Well, well, I don't you trust you, so that's the fair. Diary? Yeah, that, that, that's all Just they're going to leave him? Here. Like, I'm off with my pops? They don't know he's alive either. Huh? Bird. Just you and me. Hey, buddy. He keeps saying For that. Now. I don't know, man. So, where are we going? I don't see Please. this ending well. I mean, I'm glad it's back, but, like... Right? What's going to happen? Oh! Hey, Wait, is that the teacher? They're, they're smugglers. They said they were from the historical society. Aww. Oh, <laughs> because dude. my professional vanity got the best of them. Hey, they're heading to the Jets. Hey, Cat. Break up top of the curve there, sport. You're losing momentum. Are you seriously critiquing my driving right now? <laughs> I'm surprised. I thought I'd touch you better than this. Okay. Hey, here we go, here we go, here we go. Boat chase! The crazy thing is that these guys have guns. Okay, okay. Wait, we're just gonna talk? Back at Mr. Sons, we just wanted to avail you of an opportunity to compound your winnings, as it were. <laughs> then, then the value is compounded. I believe we need each other. Oh, uh, he's a good negotiator. Don't worry about Big it. Big John, Rutledge. <laughs> You're Rutledge? Remember me? <laughs> Shoot the kid. Shoot the kid? Yeah. Come on, we'll talk. Ah, oh, the right. sick bastard. <laughs> oh, he's scanning the situation? What? <laughs> oh! He had one the whole time! This crazy SOB. Uh. 
Yo! 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 Oh, we've now no we've remembered. Oh We're my god. John B actually found Big John. Yeah. He's alive. <laughs> Look at him. Man. Oh, Aww, her feelings. Yeah. Not bad, weird. No. Ah, JJ. We shouldn't. Say so. <laughs> I mean, like, it would all blow up. Yo, Kiara doesn't even care about any of the consequences. You know, like, At least JJ is thinking. <laughs> I think it will be fine. I'm sure Pope will get over it. I don't even got parents right now. Well, why would you care? Come on, Why dude. Stop care? saying like, 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 this. I'm just some loser. He's just speaking out of his ass, bro. You don't care. No. Hey. No, dude. You got parents that live in figure eight. You know. You know. You, you, that's not my fault. That's your future. Man's blaming her because she got money, bro. That's crazy. It's so easy for you to say that. You know why? Because you're a kook. You're a kook. What is he are. doing? Why is he snapping like this, bro? In the kook leg. It's not what I'm talking about, God. Come on. Why did that escalate so fast? Let's go. Man just casually has to cross outside. Wait till he sees Sarah, man. Oh no, I was dreaming of Sarah. Or thinking of Sarah. <laughs> Boo hoo. Come on, Sarah! <laughs> Zero to 100 real quick, dude. Oh my god. You're a good person. No, I'm not. Hey. I'm not. You're a good person. Alright. I suppose if you say that into a mirror long enough, you'll actually believe it. I'll find a museum. The hell of a write off. <laughs> not that that's why we're doing it. Yeah, of course. It, obviously. Mm, yeah, okay. Oh, she's gonna run in the race, bro, isn't she? No, no, Dad. This cross is mine. You're taking it from me. Listen, this is a uh, I got to no. Now you're trying to make yourself feel better. Or a night. Car 750. She's gonna make a noise. Oh no. Hey, hey, hey hang on. Smooth. Uh, How's he gonna react if he sees her, bro? Oh no. Whew. All right. Sure. She got that stealth mode activated, bro. What do I hear from down below? But oh, oh, no, no, gunshots no. shooting right back up at me. <laughs> gunshots. Oh. I look back. They're pulling it back out the water. Who? Rafe. Rafe. Honestly, I'm kind of glad he died. <laughs> yeah, I'm with Cleo on that. I'm just saying, at least nah, they're bonding. The ocean. Nah, nah, I had enough of this treasure hunting. <laughs> I want people nerves to be told. She's like, I know that look. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> Not a small, but nah, I'm sure she's got happy. Agree. I'd kill for a room I with that. I never had my own room before. Ah. <laughs> She's so excited. <laughs> Man's really getting rid of the bodies, bro. That's crazy. Rafe is back. Yeah. I saw him at the house. I don't uh -oh. think he saw me, uh -oh. but I think the cross is coming back. Look who it is! Look at the country club walking in! Oh, know, I forgot right? about this, I'm dude. Just have a little... My family is giving away something of mine. A historical artifact. <laughs> what you think I give a shit about that for? <laughs> One thing is, if you screw me like that, I'll, I'll come after you. Very valuable and irreplaceable thing gets jacked. Um, Rafe has stepped up his game. On me. I'll have an ironclad alibi. Right down the middle, 50-50. I ain't gonna take no bullshit pay already. Nah, okay? nah. Okay. What up? <laughs> That's it. Field. Okay. All right. All right. So we can come in and swoop. All right. We're we're Bro, still in this. Talk to him. Oh, together. look at her. And then we're gonna come up. 
God, you owe her that, dude. <laughs> yeah. I don't blame you. Haha, <laughs> poor kid, please dude. Please don't ever say that I don't care about you. Andrew called me a kook. <laughs> you smack him okay, for that. Well, hold on. That's <laughs> lame. I know. That was lame. It's uncalled for. Yeah. Blow, blow, blow. She's taking this, so she's taking it like a champ, bro. And nothing worthy is given. It's not oh, what you need to I'm done. Yeah, Jump. he ain't having it, bro. And none of it means anything if you want to learn, understand? Alright, there we go. Is that it? Alright. Alright, there we go. There we go with episode 4 of Outer Banks. And, um, yeah, again, another good episode. I still am not, you know, feeling the trust for Big John. I'm obviously the dude is, uh... Getting a little more and more unhinged, it seems, like every episode. Uh, with this episode specifically, he ended up killing two men, which was pretty brutal. Um, specifically because John B., you know, has this image of this dude in his head. Of, of uh, you know, just, you know, just the old father he had. So, seeing things just kind of switch like that, it was, it was, it was pretty messed up. But we start off with him, of course, looking for the diary. We see him find, you know, whatever pages there were in the, um, the Twinkie, of course, and, uh, of course, they're ruined. They're gone. Like the water just totally like ruined it. So we see this dude kind of flip out over that, and you know, I'm, I'm I was interested to see where it was gonna go from there because I mean, the dude, like I said, was he seems unstable. So and I mean, I don't blame him. Like the dude's been through some crazy stuff, but still, I mean, I don't know where this is going to lead to. I feel like it's not gonna be good. I wouldn't be surprised if he dies by the end of the season due to all this craziness. I don't know, but we'll have to wait and see. But um. We end up seeing, uh, you know, everyone coming, kind of like coming back to the Outer Banks. We see everyone kind of having their reunion with their parents, and I think that was a cool little moment. Everyone but technically JJ and Sarah, considering that Sarah's parent or well, dad isn't, you know, they're not on good terms, to, to say the least. JJ just doesn't have those parents, and, um, you know, seeing Kiara kind of going back to the house and, ev like, just both of her parents just embracing her instead of, you know, hounding her about anything, everything. It was just really cool to see, you know, and I, I did I did appreciate that, you know, uh, and um, you know, uh, I know they were they had some some harsh words last time, like in the last season, I believe it was. So it was cool to see them kind of just talking, I guess, and and just hugging, I guess, and uh, same thing that you know with uh, Cleo and um, Pope, you know, with Cleo being in the picture now, and you know Pope being like, you know, like she can work here she needs a place to stay like she saved my life and i'm glad that they're you know doing that because uh both parents always have seemed cool so i'm really looking forward to seeing more scenes with uh them specifically i mean it's you know we still got five episodes left or six episodes left so you know we have a decent amount of time to get more character interactions and it should be fun so i'm really looking forward to seeing more of cleo and pope specifically so hopefully that should be fun because seeing her kind of get her own room and just seeing her kind of going out there you know and I don't know, it was just really cool to see her that happy, you know, it was it was pretty awesome, I did appreciate that, but yeah, we ended up having a whole bunch of people after the diary, we ended up seeing the old school teacher, which I, I don't even remember the last time we saw this dude, but um, we ended up seeing him, I think it was like in the newspaper in the beginning of the season, maybe, saying that he like found, uh, uh you know, whatever it was, but um, of course, we have the smugglers going after him, after him, we end up getting that little fight scene with John B and Big John, and then it leads to the boat, which is where we see Big John murder both of them, which again was extremely brutal. Uh, but before that, we have that negotiating scene, which I really thought this dude was gonna find a way to get through to them, and then I thought at the last minute we were gonna end up like pushing them off the boat. For the him to kill him was something I didn't expect. I didn't even know the dude had a gun right now. I mean, we knew he was carrying, but for him to be carrying in that situation was something I wasn't I wasn't sure. So that did catch me off guard. Um, of course, uh, we have JJ and Kiara. With that, you know, the beef that they had, um, Kiara handled it like a champ, you know, I really expected her to kind of snap on him and, uh, you know, kind of go off, but, um, you know, she understands who JJ is, she really likes JJ, so she, I guess, wasn't that crazy about it, you know, she ended up, you know, talking to him and ended up working out, but, you know, the whole conversation, it escalated extremely fast, like, it caught me off guard with how crazy things ended up being, um, specifically with, you know, how 
he was calling her like a kook and all that nonsense. I was like, dude, come on, like why? Like this just, it feels like it just it's out of the blue, you know. Obviously, I know there was buildup, but still, it just, it just happened. I don't know if I'm not the, I'm not, I can't be the only one that thought it happened so damn fast. But still, I'm definitely excited to hear what you guys have to say about that beef because I know a lot of you are rooting for them, but at the same time, it's like, I don't know. Like I under, like I, I wouldn't mind if it happens. I know last season I was a little, I think I was a little more tough on Kiara. I remember being a little salty. It's been a while since we watched season two. I, I the only thing. I prepared for when getting into the season was watching the recaps but I just remember like like all of us had like a conversation about it so I remember it being crazy but still um and yeah Rafe uh, um you know wants to steal the cross so of course Ward wants to give away the cross to charity I think he said like uh, help clear my name whatever the case was um or not clear my name but you know good karma what I don't know what dude's crazy and then of course the way his wife saw it was oh yeah it could be a good payoff so of course that's what she's thinking about and then she quickly says but of course that's not why we're doing it but um, Ward, like, I did like Ward's thought, because Ward is always trying to, he, it seems like he's trying to do the right thing at, at times, but he just ends up, like, screwing up, like, severely at the end, <laughs> like, because I feel like last season, like, this dude was doing the same thing, like, he was trying to act like he was doing the right thing, but then at the last minute, he would realize, yeah, you know, I, let's not do that, you know, <laughs> and then it just didn't work out, so he's crazy at the end of the day, but, you know, it, it's cool to see him trying, you know, with him saying, maybe, Sarah will see what we're doing and, you know, things, you know, like, that's just how he wants that, that perfect happy family, but at the end of the day with the, all the, you know, crappy pulls, it's not something that can really happen, but, um, again, another good episode, looking forward to watching at least episode five, I think this might be the last episode we post today, I'm gonna try to at least record episode five, and if we can't get that done today, we'll upload it tomorrow, um, if we get the chance, but of course, it's been crazy, specifically with school, it's a storm out, it's snowing like crazy outside, um, that New England weather is beautiful, um, and yeah, what else, what else, yeah, I think, I think that's it, but still, yeah, I'm excited to hear what you guys have to say, so talk to me, and I will see you soon, stay safe, Peace out.